Are you so parochial as not ever having been to Hong Kong? Is this a confession you have to make now? David, I went to Hong Kong as your guest. Oh, really? Politics. That's an incredibly unpleasant and rude thing to say. Blah, 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 blah. It's nonsense. No, it's not nonsense. Okay, well, that's good. Smelly tofu. We smell. Very, very close to the wind. Smelly tofu. Do you like that? Yeah. Hundreds of fantastically attractive women. She is a supermarket trolley princess. Well, anyway, look. Hugely attractive. She's lovely. What do you mean hugely attractive? I mean, she's very, very, very attractive. <laughs> Common and princess. Are they a bit pompous for you? The, the, the French. Um, I, I... Thank you very much. Do you find people find it odd and difficult when they try to read your prose? I dumb down is a phrase that's used an awful lot, but, but, but an awful lot of stuff is made with ramps and wheelchair access for the mind. Yes. So occasionally you tell, uh, you say something good about something. I'm a bit like the headmaster's office. I mean, if you get sent to me, it's probably because you've, you've done something wrong. You, you have a reputation of being a bit of a bully. Um, oh, at least no, in that's, writing. oh, no, come, come. Does that herald in a, a different kind of uh, a monarchy that might be labelled distinctly modern? It becomes a contradiction in terms, a democratic monarchy. At first, of course, it was a kind of oxymoron. It was a contradiction in terms. It was a clever selling line. I think the selling line is becoming real. Importing the extremes of economic individualism and deregulation into um, a Chinese environment. So in other words, it was, a, it was a, Hong Kong is a most astonishing piece of cultural experimentation. First, it was putting Britain into China, and then, as it were, it's putting China back into China. The, the, it's played every game. Uh, do you regard China as a huge market? It's an extremely important market. It's going, to be, it's going to be one of the big markets for us, along with America and Italy and Britain. Uh, the appetite amongst this growing Chinese audience to buy fashion magazines and to take part in the growth of luxury fashion and luxury goods is Phenomenal. This is the thing about a strong food course. You go to Paris and you want to eat well, you're going to eat well in Paris. There's Chez Georges, you can go to all the, all the Ducasse. If you want to eat anything else apart from French food, forget it in Paris. Because a strong food culture means you become incredibly myopic about other foods. Now it's the same in Italy, it's the same in China, it's the same in Japan. They say, everyone says. So in Hong Kong we've got lots of um, uh, restaurants. Hong Kong is different though. Hong Kong is entirely different. Well, are you looking forward to coming back to Hong Kong? Hong Kong is arguably the greatest food city in the world. It's certainly the best Cantonese food in the world. We we'll much look forward to seeing you in Hong Kong. <laughs>